Hi, and welcome to Heart of the City. I'm Councilman Daryl Supernoff. We're about to start our monthly back-to-back -back community meeting, and today we're here at the Los Altos Library. The meeting's about to get started, so let's go on in. Now I'm here with one of our featured speakers at tonight's meeting, City Prosecutor Doug Halbert. Doug, I understand that you have some interesting news uh, to bring to the folks tonight. Well, I do. We do have some interesting news related to the airport. And by the way, thank you for inviting me here. I happen to be a fourth uh, district resident uh, as well, so I'm a constituent of yours. Uh, but tonight I was going to share with people the fact that we've entered into a consent decree with Kalita Charter Airlines. Uh, it's the most recent consent decree uh, in the city of Long Beach related to airport noise. The consent decree is going to result in a $54,000 charitable payment by the airline, and it's also going to ensure that they don't have any future noise violations related to operations uh, at Long Beach Airport. As many people know, uh, Long Beach is somewhat unique in that we have homes that uh, are immediately adjacent to the airport, and the noise at the airport affects uh, the neighborhoods immediately uh, surrounding it more than they do in a lot of other areas where the homes are set much further away from uh, the airport. So here in Long Beach, uh, we're very sensitive to the noise that's created by uh, airlines. Uh, as you know, representing the 4th District, uh, the 4th District, the 7th District, the 8th District, uh, these residents are affected in a way that's very profound. Uh, and I think a settlement like this helps to uh, not just penalize an airline for violating the noise ordinance, but it helps to incentivize them to ensure they don't violate it in the future. Well, we sure appreciate you being out here. And, and how important is you uh, is it for you to bring this message directly to the people in your in your capacity as, as city prosecutor? Well, I think the sharing of information is extremely important, and I know that's one of the reasons why you hold these community meetings so that people can hear directly from their elect, elected representatives what's happening in the city. Uh, and I'm happy to come here today and share it with uh, you and your group uh, at this meeting. Of course, I, I have constituents citywide, but I know that in particular, uh, the neighborhoods that are most affected by the airport want to hear this news so they know the latest. Okay, thanks, Doug. We really appreciate being here and look forward to what you have to say. Uh, now I'm with uh, Fire Chief Mike DeRee. And Chief, uh, what are you going to talk to the folks about tonight? Well, we're here tonight to talk a little bit about the newly implemented or the newly approved first responder fee. So I know there's a lot of questions from the community about what it means, uh, how the fee will be assessed, who gets it, who doesn't, that sort of thing, and where, most importantly, where that money will go. So I'm here tonight to hopefully answer some of those questions for the residents. And I think the biggest question is, why are we doing this? Uh, what is the purpose of uh, charging this fee at this point? Well, the purpose really is to try and stabilize the cuts that we've seen in the fire department over the last six, eight years. We've, because of the downturn in the economy, taken a lot of resources out of service. Our call volumes continue to go up. Without figuring out a way to put some more revenue into the department, I'm, I'm fearful that we will continue to see resources go away and not meet the needs of our community. And this community deserves to be have the best department it can have. I couldn't agree more, especially the 4th District. And uh, thanks a lot. Look forward to your presentation tonight. And now I'm with uh, lifelong Los Altos resident Bill Marshall, and Bill is a longtime volunteer at uh, the Long Beach Little League. And Bill, tell us about your volunteer activities. Well, you know, having just like you, having grown up and played down there, when uh, both of my boys became old enough to play, the uh, first thing I wanted to do was get involved and uh, stay involved, because I know there were parents down there that uh, helped me get through, and I just wanted to offer my, uh, my expertise in baseball to, uh, to bring some of them along. So it's been uh, since 1986 that I've been involved. Uh, I was lucky enough to be the president during the World Series years, which were really exciting, because another uh, local... Uh, player Jeff Burroughs uh, grew up and played down there so we uh, we had a lot of fun and it's been a lot of fun staying involved down there. The remarkable part is uh, you're still doing it today which I, I really admire and you know I've been volunteering about the same number of years which is uh, very unique but we, I think we both enjoy it a lot and uh, about the community meeting here uh, what brings you here and what would you like to see tonight? Well, I always, I've always wanted to get involved, uh, but with the job I wasn't able to. But now that I'm newly retired, I thought, you know, I am going to start attending meetings and see what I can do to be part of the uh, infrastructure in the city. If there's anything that I can do or offer, I'm going to take a chance at it and uh, see what I can offer. Okay, thanks, Bill. We look forward to working with you. Okay. I'm here with one of our 4th District student volunteers, Muzzy. And if you can introduce yourself, tell them what you do for the 4th District. 
My name is Mazamal Adam G. My parents are business owners here in the Long Beach 4th District, and I'm a volunteer for Daryl Supernaw. And what types of things have you been doing? I, I guess you just started since uh, summer vacation started. I've started since the summer. We've been, I've been doing mainly events, for example, movies in the park and music in the park, and I continue to do more events with the 4th District. And can you tell us why you volunteered and what you get out of it? I volunteer for the 4th District because it gives me great satisfaction to give back to my community and to help out my 4th District. And because my parents and my school take great pride in having good students and citizens who are youth and who are willing to give back to their community. Uh, Muzzy, what would your advice be to other youth who are thinking about getting involved in their community? I would say to them that is their responsibility as citizens and as youth who are part of the community to always give back and to always be considerate of other community members. Thank you, and we really appreciate you volunteering. Now I'm with realtor extraordinaire, Michelle Kay. And Michelle, tell us how you uh, handle these meetings here and what you do for everyone after the fact. <laughs> well, um, I bring my homemade cookies for every meeting. I think that if I didn't bring them, I don't know, there might be protest at this point. And then after the meeting, I just do a really quick recap that I put out there for everybody to read that a lot of people can't make the meeting and I just try to keep it really reporter-like, tongue in cheek tongue-in-cheek and keep it light and people seem to appreciate it well thanks Michelle everyone does appreciate it and thank you for doing that uh, every month I'd like to thank everyone for joining us here tonight I'm fourth district council member Daryl Supernaw and join us again on heart of the city